name is Natalia and today I'm going to show you how to create a very very special kind of card. It has a live butterfly inside of it and it looks like this. The card itself is very simple to make. It's just a regular size A4 paper just folded in half and then you can decorate it in whatever kind of way you want to and write anything you want inside of it. But when you open your card something very unexpected happens. And let me just show you. Ugh, the live butterfly inside of it just really wants to escape and fly away Literally <laughs> and when it has stopped f just flapping around very frantically you just spin the butterfly once more Just spin and spin and spin until you build up enough. Ca I think it's called kinetic energy I'm not sure but when you release it The butterfly just wants to fly away I mean, unless you have a faint of heart or you don't like butterflies, this probably isn't the best card to give to that particular person. Otherwise, this is a really fun card. And you can even decorate the wings with some poetry, some hearts, anything you find appropriate, and literally just spread the love throughout the room. And there are a lot of ways of creating this butterfly, just as there are many different kinds of butterflies all over the world. It really depends on what you or your receiver likes, the colors, the forms, the shapes, the patterns. And really it's just your imagination that sets the boundaries to what you can decorate this butterfly with. So if you want to see some more of these kind of DIYs in the future, be sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you want to see how these are made, stick around and let's just get started. Now you need to use these stencils that I have created for you and you can find them on my Facebook page, link in the description down below. Now you can either print them out or if you don't have a printer, place a piece of paper on top of your screen and then just gently trace around the stencils. Now divide these two stencils because you need them for different parts of the DIY and then take these four stencils here and then cut them out individually. Place your stencils on some construction paper and then trace around them. And then cut all of the wings out. Now place your ruler right on these corners here and then straighten your ruler to create a straight line and then fold the remaining paper over it. Give the fold a good squeeze and then repeat the same thing with the other wing. Now take the other set of wings, find the corner, fold the paper, then squeeze it and repeat it with the other one as well and then you'll have created all of your wings. Now to create the body, find some wire that's as thick as a paper clip, then place it next to your ruler and then measure out 16 and a half centimeters and then make a mark and then cut it off with your cutting plier. Now we need to create this v-shaped figure so take your wire and then fold it in half and let the two ends meet. And then try to make this loop smaller by squeezing it together. And then take one of your pliers and then squeeze it further together. Now you can use this stencil as a guide to how big the loop should be and how wide the legs should be. Now place your plier inside the loop and then take one of the legs and then bend it outwards. And repeat the same thing on the other side and make sure not to bend the legs too much. Use the stencil as a guiding tool to how wide the legs should be. Then take another piece of wire and then make a mark at 25 cm and then take your cutting plier and then cut it off. Then take your wire and then fold it in half and then let the two ends meet. Take something like a chopstick or a pencil and then place it in the middle of the wire and then twirl the wire around it just once. Make sure the loop is a perfect circle. Then take your plier and then place it right at this twirl and then bend it downwards, creating an L shape. Place the figure right on the stencil and then make a mark right at the beginning of this outward triangle. Place your plier right at the marking and then bend the leg outwards. And then repeat the same thing on the other side. 
And if you're in any doubt, use the stencil as a guide to how much you need to bend the legs. Then take your marker and then make a mark right at the tip of these triangles. Place your plier right at the markings and then bend the legs inwards. Place your figure on the stencil again and then make some markings right at the end of these triangles. Place the pliers on the markings and then bend the legs into the original straight position. Make some markings corresponding to the curve here on the stencil and then take your plier and then bend the legs upwards. Make the very last marking here on this curve. Place your plier right on the markings and then bend the legs downwards. Now these are the pieces for the butterfly's body. Now we need to assemble these two pieces and create the butterfly's body. So place the rubber band between your fingers like this. Then take the V-shaped figure and try to catch the rubber band with the loop. Hold on to the two ends of the rubber band because you need to insert it through the little loop in the other figurine. Now as you can see here on the bottom there are two tiny hands that will hold on to the rubber band. So stretch the rubber band over the hands and then let go. Now the very last thing to do is to glue these wings onto the body. So put some glue right on the fold here and then attach it onto the bottom of the body. And then repeat the same thing with the other wing. And remember to press down firmly to make the wings stick properly onto the body. Now for the upper part of the wings, this point in on the wing needs to align with this point in on the wire. So put some glue on the back of the fold and then attach it to the wire and press down to make it stick properly. And repeat the same thing with the other wing. Then leave it to dry completely before testing it out. If you want, you can decorate the edges with some coloring. Now as I said in the beginning, there are a lot of ways to create these butterflies. It's really only your imagination that sets the boundaries. Now your escaping butterfly is done! Spin the top part of the butterfly a couple thousand times, place it inside the card and then give it away. I hope you enjoyed watching and if you did, give this video a like, it helps me out a lot. And let me know down below which one of these butterflies you are going to make. And if you want to see the upcoming videos from this channel, you need to subscribe and be a part of my lovely DIY family here at the Bluetooth box. So subscribe and I will see you soon with more ideas. Bye!